Obviously the instrument is very important to my job at Black Dyke. Um, the euphonium these days tends to be viewed as a bit of a cadenza machine in brass bands. You know, you usually play the most difficult parts, very high, very low, very loud, very quiet. And usually in some pieces, euphonium has the most to do. It's a bit of a make or break instru instrument for your band's performance. What I love about this Geneva, it's got a really, really nice core sound and centre to the instrument, which in an ensemble like a brass band is extremely beneficial. But having said that, I think the primary role of the euphonium is to colour the sound of the band. I think these days that could be lost a little bit with instruments that are arguably too big or even like equipment you're playing on that's too big. They're sort of like F tubers rather than euphoniums and the sound just rather than going out goes you know very diffuse sounding and this instrument is the opposite to that. It's very sort of contained and very sort of um, centred and I really like that. It really suits my playing and really helps playing in a band like Black Dyke. I mean you talk about the cadenza machine. Mm. I've listened to you for it. You have to play very complex parts in most of the pieces these days. It must be important that the machinery works, that the engineering works. Absolutely. You know, the last thing you need on a, if you're playing a you know masquerade, for example, last thing you need is to worry about whether your instrument's going to work. You know, you want to be focused in, in purely on what's going to be coming out your bell and concentrate and if you're worrying about your instrument in some way that's going to detract from your performance you know because concentration is going to be sort of split luckily with this thing I don't have to worry about that at all the mechanics work perfectly uh, the tuning's great I just play on it. it gives me the freedom to do those horrif horrific cadences that you mentioned <laughs> in the words of either Owen Farr or Claude Gordon I can't remember which one it is um, it's a glorified piece of plumbing so in order for this to work it still needs a player behind it but having said that, in order for this to work, you need to be really on top of the basics of brass playing. I mean, long notes, articulations, scales, slurs, things like that. If you can do those simple things really well, then you'll be able to play the hard stuff. And on some other instruments I've played, I found that the basic stuff is a little bit more tricky to get a hold of, you know, in terms of intonation or actually having certain notes which don't resonate quite as well. But on this thing, as I said, it's really neutral. Every single note on it is great, and that allows me to refine that basic technique even more, and uh, that allows me to do the more complicated stuff. So yeah, really happy in that regard.